Hey folks, welcome back to part 3 of my Keyclock and React.js video series. This time I'm talking about Keyclock and React.js plus React Router. So, um, thank you very much for your feedback on my first two parts of uh, this video, short video series where I talked about Keyclock configuration, basic usage, conditional rendering and all that stuff. And uh, there was one question in the comments uh, we requested uh, how to integrate Keycloak with React Router. And so I decided to create part three of this video series talking about uh, router integration. So let's start and have a look into my demo application, which you already know from the first two parts. Uh, I evolved it a little bit to have more possibilities to play around with uh, the router. So, okay. What do we have? We have uh, the basic application component, of course, where we have uh, the router and uh, we have the render anonymous component and the render on authenticated uh, component uh, from uh, the second part of uh, this video series. Uh, where we render uh, various uh, things um, and if we're not authenticated, if we're still anonymous, we're rendering the welcome page, which uh, looks that way. We have a hello anonymous, please authenticate yourself with a login button, just pressing the login button, we'll redirect it to uh, the key clock and we can log in with our data or credentials and we're redirected back to the application. And you already see, if you watch the first two parts, uh, the application changed a little bit. We have a, a longer list of books. And uh, yeah, back to the code. Now we're authenticated and we have the book box. And in the book box, we have a menu at the top. And then we have a switch route expressions, um, depending on the route where the browser is, just to render different things. We have the book list. This is what you see here, the table of the different books. Uh, we can create a new book, the book form, and add a new book at this page. Uh, we have the book details. We have uh, a detail page. And uh, we have a secret page, a secret path, uh, which we want to secure today. And uh, this is uh, the secret part. Here are some secret books. Uh, I, I haven't filled uh, the list all, uh, yet, but uh, this may be uh, get done in the, in the next part. Um, so, and the last route is uh, a catch-all route with a no match component. If you have some some. Um, uh, paths which doesn't uh, which are not covered by the, the router switch expression we have a not met a not found or no match component so uh, at the top right we're sent in as does nico this is our username of logout button still the same as um, as um, the, the last time so um, how to secure this path uh, we want to show this uh, page only if the user has a certain role. Otherwise, um, we should uh, present uh, not allowed or whatever. So back to our book box. This is the route with the secret books. And um, just like uh, I have uh, integrate, uh, um, done the, the render anonymous, render on authenticated or uh, render on role, what we also had last time. Uh, I created a roles route component, which just um, returns a route component with a decision um, what to return if a user has a certain role or not. So let's integrate it to our book box. We just want to have the roles route. Uh, and we have to provide some uh, roles. This is mandatory. Um, and we have the admin role again. Only users with the admin role should be able to see the secret books page. And um, otherwise, we're showing a not allowed page. So back to the application. You already see access not allowed. Automatic reload because our user doesn't have the role uh, admin and if we now 
uh, provide the role to our user. Men updated. Go back and uh, do a reload. So a new token is um, created. And now we see the page here, some secret books again. So we can navigate to into the, the application, have the secret books page. And if we remove the role again, just regular users uh, without the admin role. Now oh, back to the application here, do a reload. Access is not allowed. Uh, everything other you can still see. So it's that easy to integrate uh, key cloak roles and whatever um, conditions you like into um, your, your router. Just have a route component and then decide in the children um, on which condition what to render. That's all you have to do, nothing more. And yeah, have fun with React, Keycloak and React Router. Bye. So thanks for watching Keycloak and React.js integration. Uh, I hope you had fun watching the video and if you have any questions, put it in the comments so that I can answer it. If you want to see any other topics covered in a short clip of me, um, just also put it in the comments. Um, yeah, just um, evaluate all the stuff for you and uh, Give me some thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future recordings. And see you. Bye.